You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcast on the role of drones in the future of our societies. What if your shopping was delivered by drones? Your post? With drones becoming more commonplace and affordable, the list of tasks they could fulfill is only getting bigger. Discover with us some of the incredible ways in which drones are overcoming their bad reputation and finding a place in our societies. Drones are coming, but they're unarmed. Initially developed for military purposes, the sharp drop in production costs due to innovations in materials and onboard computers means drones are becoming more and more accessible. And cheaper too. So the list of applications for these unmanned vehicles is extending beyond the traditional roles of military security, surveillance and policing efforts to new fields such as climate data collection, scientific exploration, logistics and delivery services, 3D mapping, wildlife protection and infrastructure maintenance, to name just a few. But one of the areas in which drone use has the greatest potential is agriculture. Crop monitoring, for instance, is already possible thanks to remotely piloted aerial systems carrying advanced cameras which can capture the variation in crop conditions at high resolution. Which is extremely valuable information for farmers. But that's not all. Drones can also detect diseases or parasites hindering production and eradicate the problem themselves, protecting crops and increasing yields. And farmers are not the only ones showing interest in drones. Major delivery and logistics companies are already busy figuring out ways in which drones could improve the efficiency of their operations. Drones are also being used to inspect and maintain highways, railways, oil rigs and pipelines. Drones can also be used to check the state of high buildings such as cathedral towers, inside and outside, or windmills, and even take care of some repairs. They are also helping the work of archaeologists, biologists and meteorologists. And in the future, they can be extremely useful in responding to natural catastrophes, such as fighting forest fires or aiding in disaster recovery. The full range of commercial applications for drones is yet to be explored, but predictions are that 12% of an expected 86 billion euros of global spending on drones over the next decade will be for commercial purposes alone. This means that by 2050, there could be as many as 150,000 drone-related jobs in Europe. Time to consider changing careers? Maybe, but let's first consider some legal and ethical questions. With the increasing capacity of drones to collect all sorts of data, concerns over the misuse of information and privacy violations still have a chilling effect on citizens. And questions are being raised. Would citizens change the way they behave in public if they feel watched by drones? What impact would this have on our cities? If drones become a regular presence in urban areas, safety issues and even counter-terrorism needs to be considered. Drones could collide with buildings, or even worse, with people. Their uses could also transform the job market and the required skills in certain sectors, as workers would be expected to know how to deal with drones. While member states would be expected to retain regulatory powers over drones used for military reasons, their civilian use raises several issues for European policymakers. In fact, the EU has already legislated with regard to data protection, but ensuring these rules are effectively implemented if our skies get congested with drones is another matter. One way to reduce the public concerns about privacy is the creation of a website or mobile app to inform citizens about the drones that are flying over their heads, explaining clearly the type of data they are retrieving, who is collecting it, and for which purpose. For both autonomous vehicles and drones, member states are currently developing rules and guidelines that guarantee safety for bystanders, operators, other traffic and the environment. But to be effective, aerial norms need to be tailored to the different types of aerial vehicles, and certain common standards need to be developed at European level to allow the drone business to take off. The Riga Declaration signed by the EU and the European Aviation Community in March 2015 sets the main principles for developing a drone services market and striking the right balance between promoting drone services and protecting the high levels of safety, security and privacy that European citizens enjoy. The drones have come and it looks like they're here to stay. You're listening to the European Parliamentary Research Service Podcasts.